Hey, what's up everybody? This is Twix. Say hi Twix. So I'm making this video because sometimes I get asked, what do I do in between murals to stay busy and to keep this income coming in and stay full-time artist? So I just thought what I would do is just do a beginning to end video showing everything I did in 2022 as a full-time artist to stay busy. This is about 90% of everything I did. There's a couple things where I couldn't find a, a great photo. I couldn't, I couldn't figure out where I stored my photos of a certain job, so I couldn't include them, but this is about 90% of it. Stay tuned to the end of the video because going into 2023, I have probably one of the biggest jobs in my life starting, uh, and I'll tell you about that at the end of the video. So this is what it was like for me in 2022 as a full-time artist. Check it out. All right, so here we took this windsurfing board, gave it a little custom look. And we went to Villa Serena in, painted their wall again. And again. Followed by a handmade and hand painted sign. Then I did this 3D baseball softball mitt for ESPN events. We made this old Palmetto Point sign. Look like this Palmetto Point sign. Did a custom golf cart wood grain paint job. Made this golf cart look like this golf cart. Then I did this to my beetle. And then this. But ended with this. I also painted this bug. This Poor Decisions logo. Followed by this Poor Decisions parade float. Then I got this trailer for my uncle, customized it into a work trailer, and it looks like this. Some chalk art of an eagle in the moon. Took this blank door. Made it look like this door. And this. Then I painted my brightest mural ever. Thanks, Leslie. And then I painted a small little wave. And then a box full of fruit and vegetables and flowers. Made this turtle look like this turtle. Painted my neighbor's house into a nice sunset beach scene. Then I painted this 45 foot long octopus. And it just so happens that we kind of look alike. Followed by this beach scene. And then this outdoor sign. Did a 3D wolf paw print. Got this tropical door. The tallest mural of my entire life. Then I got to hang out with a baseball legend and Sarasota's mayor, and it got me in the paper. And then the news. And then some more news. And then two other news clips that I can't find. And then Hurricane Ian came and made my mural of Smokey Bear look like this. The salty crab in Fort Myers, unfortunately, it also went. Huge loss, so sorry guys. Fort Myers Beach Tiki Guy. Looks like this after the hurricane. There he is way down there. Still smiling though. Then my favorite mural, also in Fort Myers Beach, looked like this. But that's okay, because I took it and made some merchandise. Put it on shirts, just like this. Later, I was on a podcast. My first podcast ever. That was fun, I wanna do some more of that. Followed by the longest mural of my life in my hometown that I grew up in. It's the biggest wall mural I've ever done. 90 foot by 15 foot. And I was fortunate enough to take my best buddy here and memorialize him in that mural. And then I sat in this badass car. And then I signed the wall. And then I pointed out Inglewood Strong. And then I did some public speaking. And it made it into the paper. And another paper. And another paper. <laughs> and another one. And then Halloween came and I did this vampire in chalk. And then I built this 10 foot witch in my front yard. And then I drew the man, the myth, the legend, Grady Judd at a chalk festival. 
And I was lucky enough to get some mail personal from him following. And then to top out the year, I did this beach scene for my neighbors inside their front entry. And the next job I'm gonna be doing, first out of the gate in 2023, is for the Atlanta Braves at Cool Today Park. So make sure you stay tuned to that. That's probably gonna be the biggest job in my entire life, and I'll have a video of that shortly. See ya. Like and subscribe. If you're on YouTube, hit that bell button. Got some cool videos coming. See ya.